Have you guys ever wondered how to make a proximity prompt open a GUI? Well, I have too. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is make a part like this one right here. You're just gonna wanna make a nice little part, you know? I just colored it and stuff. This is unnecessary though. You can just make it look however you want. Like it could be like a little pad too. And then basically you're gonna wanna add in a proximity prompt under your part. And then you're gonna wanna remember your part's name for later in the code. So name it something specific. I just named mine shop part because it opens a little shop system. And then you could put in like a folder and stuff if you want, but I'll show you how to edit that in the code right now. So after you got your stuff down, you don't have to add the surface GUI thing that I added either to where so where it says this but if you are wondering how just add a surface GUI and then a text label and then change the side so the text label changes side and then basically you're gonna want to go down to start a GUI and in start a GUI you're gonna want to go and add a screen GUI I just named mine tool shop it doesn't need a specific name for this but I just named mine tool shop because that's what it is it has like a whole working tool shop system if you guys want to make uh want me to make a video on that I will do it so just comment that down below if you want that and then basically uh here's the code right here this also has a lot of other code so just don't like just ignore all this other code like just ignore all this stuff right here this is the main code so you're basically gonna want to get your prompt first so right here we get our prompt so lo local prompt equals shop part oh wait no never mind this is how we get the prompt so sorry we first have to get the shop part so the shop part is in workspace but you could put it in something like a folder so if you're gonna put it in a folder you're gonna put workspace and then dot whatever the folder is and then i put wait for child because sometimes the part doesn't load in fast enough for the game to find it so i put wait for child shop part and then basically it finds it right here and remember to add your parentheses right here when you put your name in here because it won't work if you don't and then basically this is just what you're going to need to do right here. And then you're going to get the prompt right here. Shop part, find for child proximity prompt. Oh, and also I'll leave the code in the description, the actual necessary code, not all this other stuff. So you guys could just copy and paste if you want. But then the proximity prompt, we get this right here. I just did find for child because if the part's loaded, the prompt should be loaded. But I just put find for child. But you don't need to. You could just do dot proximity prompt if you want. And then basically after that, we could just, now that we have these two right here, we have our GY. And if you're going to put it, under a frame which most people will you gotta make sure to do this right so you got prompt dot triggered right here um the, don't mind this this is just to exit it also you got this is just to exit but then yeah we got prompt dot trigger connect function so this is whenever the prompt is triggered and then basically we go to our player gy because we get this over here since this is a local script it can do this it can get the players so we'll see right here i got the player game dot player saw local player and then basically we get player dot player gy so the player gy is everyone one specific GUI it's only on their side so if you change something in the player GUI it's only going to change it for one player if you change something in the star GUI it's going to change it for all players so yeah we're getting this specific player so we don't to open everyone's like uh shop we're just getting the there and then we got the player GUI right here so then now we have the player GUI we get the tool shop which is right here so after the game is started it'll make a, a copy of the tool shop for each player and then basically we're just going to enable it and now that it's enabled it'll open so i made an exit button let me just show you guys it right here uh, let me enable this real quick so all this stuff just works right here but here's the exit button and basically every time that exit button is clicked it's going to do the opposite it's going to close it for that specific player so multiple players can like have it open and close it's not going to just open and close it for each player because uh, yeah that would just be annoying if it's just one player could open it for every player so yeah you're going to want to make sure you get the player gy not the starter gy and then yeah I'll just pretty much like link all the code in the description that's actually necessary but let's test it out to see if it works and yeah if you guys do want the tool shop I will make a video on it yeah don't mind all this other stuff this is just like my other stuff from other videos and just other projects so right here we see it says open shop because I made it say that in the proximity prompt settings and then we open it all the stuff works right here basically just hit x right here to, so it opens and closes now and yeah if there were multiple players let me just go ahead and do that real quick okay so now that both players are loaded in I can show you guys what it looks like when there's two players okay so let's oh let's move both of our players over here so also this is just something you can do in roblox geo it's super cool where you can test with two players so you don't have to like test the game each time so now we have both of our players let's move it over here so like, let's open it for this player we go to the other player it's not going to be open because this is on the client side and we got the player gy not the star gy so 
this only edits something for one player so yeah basically we could just close it too and then let's open it with this player yeah it's not going to be open for the other one so yeah now that's basically how you can open a gy with a proxy prompt it's not super hard not too easy though and yeah if you guys want me to make a tutorial on the tool shop system i have too because look let me just show you could just buy something here oh yeah this also works on the client side oh wait yeah my money went down i just have a little slapping tool right here just buys it only specifically for me so if you guys want me to make a tutorial on that i will do it and yeah that's basically um gonna be the end of the video so so subscribe to the channel. Bye.